Welcome to Our Mountains. I'm Rhonda Brashear. I'm Dean Osborne. And I'm Joel Brashear. Guys, I got a question for you. All Do right. you think music is genetic? Like, does it transfer through families? I'd have to say yes. You okay. know, uh, we were uh, doing an interview with a, a TV show a while back, and they asked the same question. And I went a little bit farther than just immediate family that are with us today. I went back through generations. I think that the music that our uh, forefathers uh, generations ago loved is somehow locked in our own uh, ability. It's much like facial expressions or your height or your uh, skin tone or your eyes. I think the same love for music is. And for instance, if somebody of Scots-Irish heritage tends to lean toward that kind of music as being something that's very comforting to them. Mm -hmm. And then families, of course, the harmony is uh, because of the physical traits and just the proximity of your family, um, you're going to learn each other's traits, you're going to learn each other's sounds, and it's easier to harmonize. But uh, family harmonies are just wonderful. Now, you grew up playing with your sisters, didn't you? We did. Uh, sang in church, and I learned harmony when I was very young. And um, we sang as a trio. My husband says the Angle Sisters, <laughs> but uh, we did sing for a while in church. I've always thought that uh, the timbre, the way your voice resonates and the cycles that it does when it lines up, I think genetically it lines up and that's the reason that siblings have such close harmony. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I got zero of that music talent DNA, <laughs> but I'll tell you a family that has it to spare is the Wilson family. Here's Kevin Wilson and his group singing Positive Thinking. I refuse to think about the daily news Makes me worry and gives me the blues Everything in the world is not bad Look at that sunset, I think about that I've been thinking about the things I love I'm sinking low down, I'm holding on Positive thinking I think I go down south and spend some time Get work and worry all my mind Time in the sun would be good for my soul Down to the Gulf Coast I think I'll go been thinking about the things I love These old bad feelings I've had now But positive thinking keeps me from sinking Low down, I'm holding on To positive
Thanks, Kevin, for coming back on the show. It's always great having you and your family bring your special brand of Christian country music. Now, when we come back, I sit down with a local author whose new book is absolutely hilarious. Now, you're going to love it, unless your name is Bernadette Peters. Don't go away. We'll be right back. At Frontier Nursing University, our mission is to educate nurse midwives and nurse practitioners through distance education. With 75 years in Kentucky, our students and graduates have a passion for personalized care for women and families. Do you share this passion? Visit Frontier.edu. Folks, welcome back to Our Mountains. Now, if you've watched the show before, you know how much I love authors and storytellers, and boy, have we got one for you today. Keith Stewart, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Keith, tell the folks at home what your new book's called. Uh, the name of the book is Bernadette Peters Hates Me. Well, let's start right there. <laughs> Why does Bernadette Peters hate you? Well, the book itself is, is a collection of stories that have actually happened in my life, and this particular story... I um, had tickets to see Bernadette Peters. I'd always wanted to see her, loved her, and, and all of her. She's very talented. Yeah, she is. And so the charity function that I got to uh, attend had a meet and greet afterwards. And so I planned out exactly what I was going to say to her. I was going to win her over and you know become her friend, all of that stuff. I hadn't convinced myself. And... Um, we get to the meet and greet, and I shake her hand, and I told her that my favorite movie role of hers was in Blazing Saddles, and um, her response was pretty evident to everyone but me, was I was not in Blazing Saddles, but I was, um, I was so convinced that she was, I, I pretty much argued with Bernadette <laughs> Peters. I, I, I was like, no, you were. You've just forgotten. You've been in so many things. You've forgotten that you were in it. And uh, so we went back and forth, me trying to convince her she was in the movie and, until she finally like did a little nod to security to have me removed from the picture line. So that's, that's pretty much that's why the book is named Bernadette. Maybe Peter's it's more of a strong dislike. It, it might be, yeah. <laughs> So, Keith, I, I was on your blog the other day, and I was reading. I saw a story about a, a vacation mishap. you care to share that with folks at home? Yeah, that um, mishap actually <laughs> happened in Jamaica. I had, had convinced one of my friends to go with me, and uh, she is very prissy, you know, and doesn't – she likes makeup and her hair done at all times and you know, doesn't want to get it wet or mussed up. And in Jamaica, you know, there's a lot of, of heat and water sports, sure. that sort of thing. She only would agree to go if, if we just laid by the pool and, and you know, sip drinks, and that was it. And um, I saw a brochure that had, uh, like, a tour to climb a waterfall in Jamaica, and it assured you know, assured everyone it was an easy climb, it was family friendly, you know, you didn't have to have any experience in climbing falls. So I convinced her to go. And uh, we got there and it was, it was fine for the first half of the falls. And it was pretty much what the brochure said. But the last half was the kind of the meat of the, the falls. It was straight up and the guides made us get like girl boy, girl boy, in line and latch arms, I guess so we would not fall <laughs> off the, the, the ledge. And as we were kind of climbing up that way, suddenly you're like inside the falls. And uh, I thought, wow, this is really cool because you're completely dry and this huge waterfall is behind you. And I made the mistake of, I was just kind of look and I backed out a little bit and the waterfall caught the back of my swim trunks <laughs> and the force of all the water just pretty much shot my, my drawers down, <laughs> basically. And we, the way we were kind of stuck, Donna, my friend, was above me and this German lady was here. And I could, if I lifted my leg, the, you know, my, my pants would go on down the falls without me. And... Uh, I, so I kept trying to, you know, break free to so I could get my hand, but we were not supposed to break the chain. Of course, the weak link, and uh, Donna would not release, you know, my hand. So we were kind of arguing on the falls, and I finally jerked my hand away, but I had pretty much mooned this <laughs> German lady behind me, and uh, I, I got my my shorts back up and got to the top, and 
I tried to apologize to her, but she, she wanted nothing to do with me <laughs> at that point. She, she just like shook her head and just walked away Her and I, as I tried to apologize. Well, but, once you've been mooned by a Kentucky boy, there's not much you can uh, do. Exactly. Could have made her vacation <laughs> if she wanted, but she, she didn't. She did not like it. Well, tell the folks at home if they're interested in, in finding your book, where can they get it? Um, the book is available online at Amazon.com. And here in Hyden, it's available at the medicine shop pharmacy. That's where I work. So I, I can't, or with me, it's in the trunk of my car at all times. And um, it's available at Morris Bookstore in Lexington. Besides the book, I know you also have a, a really good blog online, mm -hmm. A Strong Man's Cup of Tea. That's right. That, that's, that's right. Uh, I've, I've got a lot of your stories from there. Uh, tell the folks where they can find that online. That is at uh, www.astrongmanscupoftea.com. Well, Keith, thanks so much again for being on the show. Thank you. Folks, you might not know this, but Keith's family, in a roundabout way, is responsible for our mountains. Because when I was growing up, Keith's family ran a video rental store. And every day, my mom and dad worked at the bank, and I would go over and rent a couple movies. Right. And they are responsible for my <laughs> love of video and movies, which led to me working in... Uh, theater and video, which led to television, which led to Our Mountain. So, from me to you, Great. thank you very much I'm for all of this. Glad we could help. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Keith, for coming and appearing on our show. When we come back from our break, we're going to hear a song from The Boss performed by The Wooks. Stay tuned. One Voice, Unifying Banking in Kentucky, our Commonwealth. We are the Kentucky Bankers Association. We are the KBA. The KBA is a nonprofit trade organization that has been providing legislative, compliance, education, and vendor solutions to its member institutions since 1891. The KBA's directors and staff work together with its members to make the financial services industry in Kentucky a more effective and successful place to work. The mission of the KBA is to provide effective advocacy for banks in Kentucky and on a national level. We strive to serve as a reliable and responsive source of information and education about areas of interest to the Kentucky Banker. The strength of the Kentucky Bankers Association is bankers unifying as an industry to speak as one voice. With one voice, we are a commonwealth. Welcome back to Our Mountains. You know, when you think of bluegrass music, one of the last artists that you would put in that category is Bruce Springsteen. Our guests this week have a little different notion, though. They've taken one of his biggest hits and turned it into a bluegrass number worth listening to. Here's the Wooks and Atlantic City. We are the Wooks, and this is Atlantic City.
want to thank the Wooks for being our special guest, and we know you enjoyed their music. When we come back, Miss Rhonda's going to be in the kitchen cooking up something special. It's got to do with chicken. That's my favorite topic. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back. Passion, personalized care, and a mission to serve women and families in Kentucky. We are Frontier Nursing University. Through distance education and clinicals in your own community, become a nurse midwife and share your passion for women and family care. Visit Frontier.edu. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe that I just love. I've used it many times and it's great for a big family dinner. As you can see from all these ingredients, it does make a large casserole. Now, I've started with cooked chicken, and I always put a bay leaf or two in my chicken when I cook it. It just gives it a lot better flavor. But I have it cooled and uh, chopped up somewhat, but I'm still going to go ahead and chop it a, a little bit more with my hands. Now, this recipe is crunchy. It has uh, water chestnuts in it and celery. You put the celery in raw and after you bake it, it softens up just a little bit, but it is still a little bit crunchy. If you don't like the celery that way, you can always pre-cook it, but I just add it in raw. So the recipe calls for three cups of chicken, but I have a little bit more here today. I may save a little bit for something else. A generous amount of chicken. Now to that, I'm going to add one and a quarter cups or thereabouts of real mayonnaise. This is not a low-cal recipe. That should do it. And I'm going to put about three tablespoons of chopped onion. Of course, you can add more or less to taste. Just rough chop and throw that in and also your celery now the celery does need to be diced up pretty small and I have it julienned already here so I'm just going to chop it up and I like to add some of the leaves I think that gives it uh, a real good flavor so just dice up your celery about a cup is what you need good right there. Now you're going to add two cans of cream of chicken soup. You will not need to add any other salt because of the soup. It'll give you all the salt you need. Two cans. can of drained mushrooms, sliced, a can of drained sliced water chestnuts, stir all that in, I hope I have a big enough bowl to hold all these ingredients. I'm going to add two cups of minute rice. Now all that soup and the wet ingredients are going to make that rice puff right up. To this, I'm going to add two-thirds cup of evaporated milk. really a rich recipe. After you have it completely mixed together, you're going to put it into a casserole dish, large enough to hold it all. Just spread it out, ungreased, you don't need to grease it. Just spread all of that in evenly. Press it down. To this, I'm going to add two cups of crushed cornflakes. Sprinkle all of that. And spread
spread those on evenly. And finally, the last ingredient is melted butter. And this is just a little over a half stick, about three quarter stick melted. And just drizzle that over the cornflakes. So they'll brown up really well. I'm going to bake this for 30 to 45 minutes in a 350 degree oven. You want it to be a little browned and bubbly when it comes out. Mm. Now here it is, right out of the oven. I baked it about 45 minutes and it is nice and browned on the edges and the uh, cornflake crumbs on top are nice and crunchy. Now for supper, a nice fruit salad with this would be great. Um, just uh, a nice little salad would also be good. Thanks mom, I love that dish. You know, we've had that at our church dinners for as long as I can remember. Now folks, we've got so much more from our mountains coming up. Don't go anywhere. Our Mountains is sponsored by Frontier Nursing University, Pioneers for Healthcare. The Kentucky Bankers Association, more than banks, they're your neighbors. The Foundation for Appalachian Kentucky, inspiring charitable giving, investing in our communities. Welcome back to Our Mountains. You know, since we started the program, we've been featuring students from HCTC's Kentucky School of Bluegrass and Traditional Music. Here's one of my favorite selections featuring Lindsey Branson and Ryan Davidson. It's a duet called Oh Tonight.
Folks, that's our show for this week. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the music and the food and all the fun. You know, if you missed any of today's episode or want to catch any of our previous episodes, they're all online. Facebook and YouTube page address there on your screen. Plus, sometimes we have stuff we don't even have time for on the show. It's online as well, so go check that out. See you next week. <laughs>